Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slappy Daddy Barbecue coming to you again from Diamond Bar, California. I'm super excited today because I have a box full of parts here. These parts uh, go into the Hasty Bake Legacy Grill. Huge thanks to Richard Alexander from Hasty Bake to send me all these parts together with the Hasty Bake. We're gonna do a unboxing and do a burn-in and a first cook for you guys. <laughs> It only took about uh, 15 minutes to assemble the hasty bake. Uh, the hard part was actually getting off all of that uh, wrapping along the stainless steel. You just put these handles on, install the little drain chamber, get the uh, firebox set up, install the uh, pull handle here, and this little lever will raise and lower the fire grate. A total of about 14 inches up and down so if it goes on top like the needle shows here it's ready to sear and if I lower it down all the way it's going to go down to smoke so that is the charcoal tray that uh, goes up and down according to a lever mechanism and uh, the door opens here and what is uh, unique about this is it's even though it looks like it's a box there's a lot of uh, design that's gone through it this is a what is known as a ventless design. So if you look at the cover here, there's absolutely no vents here because it uses kind of a flow through design. The air intake is uh, through right here. And uh, you can adjust the holes and damper, close and open. And what happens is the hot air will flow right through this chamber and come out through the exhaust, which are these holes here. You can see on this side here, and there's another hinge on the outside where you can kind of control the opening of these dampers on this side. And you can see from here, you can control the damper for the exhaust where there is a little cup for you to put your grease drain on the little V-shaped groove that will allow the grease to drip into the pan. So, a very interesting design. It's ventless, no chimney on the hood. It uses the concept of exhaust damper here and intake here on the door where you control the fire. The uh, fire grate is removable and there's a really big ash bin at the bottom you can line with foil so you can catch all the ash. There's also a baffle that goes on top of the fire grate here and it covers the fire. So if you're cooking indirect, this will really work. You can have a little baffle here to kind of have an indirect protect your meat. So it actually does three things really, really well. It does grilling, it does smoking, and it does baking. Hence the name Hasty Bake. This is the model 132 Hasty Bake, completely stainless steel, runs you about $1,900. And thanks to Richard Alexander, the owner of Hasty Bake, who sent it to me. This is America's oldest grill, and it goes back to 1948. And uh, there are a lot of pa patterns here on this grill. The inventor was a guy named Grant Hastings, and he made the first Hasty Bake charcoal oven. And uh, he was actually a pioneer in the industry as I mentioned, we're using vents, a heat deflector, we have a ventless hood, we have the uh, fire box adjustable 14 inches up and down. You can see this little grease drain rod right here and uh, an easy to clean ash pan with the intakes here and then the exhaust here. So enough of me talking, let's uh, fire up this puppy and uh, do a burn in cook and then uh, see if we can cook something on it to see how it fares. Hasty Bake comes with his own fire starter and uh, we're gonna use this to start it up. Uh, 
So we're starting it up. I'm gonna leave the uh, lid open, the rod back, the grates are. So the grates are inclined so that the oil will flow right into the groove on the V channel right here. All right, we're at about 500 degrees. Let's go ahead and season it now. I have a little piece of uh, beef fat here. Just kind of wet the grates down. So after the burning cycle, we let it settle and it's now down to about 275 degrees. Let's go ahead and uh, do our first cook by putting in some of the chicken thighs that we prepared. These are just some regular chicken thighs seasoned with some Slapadetti rub. Let's go ahead and refill the hasty bake. Let's move up the fire grate a little higher. Get it to a little bit higher temperature so the chicken thighs will be a little bit more crispy. We want to get around 325. And it moves up about 14 inches from top to bottom. So you have a lot of uh, room to move your charcoal grate. The hasty bake has been running at a constant temperature, so no problem there. Just need to adjust the vents down here and adjust the exhaust vent and it purrs like a kitten. Uh, my first cook with the chicken is done looks pretty good and uh, all in all a successful cook in the unboxing well sort of unboxing not really a lot of unboxing but we did the burn in and first cook chicken is absolutely amazing thanks for watching my uh, hasty bake unboxing burn in and first cook you can see absolutely gorgeous chicken here I take a bite here wow super delicious moist with a crispy skin cooked at around 325 degrees. All right, no shoot is done because Mr. Beans, I guess, got wind that I'm cooking ch some chicken. And for those of you who are going to ask me, yes, we do change gloves after we feed Mr. Beans, okay? I don't know. Every, every time I post a video like this, somebody will always ask me, you know, look at him using the same gloves. So, just for the record, we do change gloves. All right, Beans, you like it? It was a good chicken? Ah, the Tasty Bakes cooks great chicken. Let's see how it does on steaks and some pork, ribs, brisket, and a whole bunch of other meats here. I think he likes the Tasty Baked chicken a lot. You guys have told me that you guys want to see even an ASMR video of him just eating. No need for Harry to appear on a video, just feature Mr. Bean. So if you like that, <laughs> let me know. In the, in the comments below if you want to see Mr. Beans just scarfing down and enjoying good, good food here. Okay, good job Beans. Alright, add a boy. Cleaning the hasty bag is pretty easy because all you need to do is pull out the uh, ash drawer at the bottom here, pull out the ash pan, kind of rake it to get rid of any of these coals, ash. And if there's some spent, unspent coals, go and, go and leave it in there. Okay, this is too hot, so I'll have to set it aside first. You want to check your ash because even though it looks like it is has extinguished, there could be embers in there and that is the cause of many a fire accident with the ash because the ash hasn't fully cooled down. So what you want to try to do is you want to put it into an ash, metal ash can so that it's completely cooled down before you put it away because if you end up putting this into that and that goes into big trash bin you're gonna get a trash bin fire so safety precaution be safe always i'm not gonna bother putting the hot ash in my ash pan since uh it's in a garage so all i'm gonna do is put the uh, ash into a aluminum foil pan set it aside until it's completely 100 percent cool before i dump the ash away that way there's no chance that i might set my trash bin on fire and cause a fire accident so always be very careful when you have ash. Make sure it's completely extinguished. Absolutely gorgeous chicken here cooked on the Hasty Bake. Thanks for stopping by watching my unboxing, burn in and cook. A huge thanks to the folks at Hasty Bake for sending me their legacy pit. 
We're going to be cooking a lot more of it in the future, including cooking on it some brisket, some steaks, and a whole lot of other kinds of meat. So until the next time, enjoy. We will see you in the next video.